Jessica, good morning. No, good morning, no, good night. <laughs> How are you, Jessie? Hi, Jessica. How are you, girl? Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Are you still having your dinner? Yeah, yeah. I ate, I ate dinner. Ah, oh, you ready? Oh, I thought you were yeah, like yeah, in, ready, but in the I'm middle of the process. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a call. Oh, you're in a call right now? Yeah, 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 teacher. Okay, don't worry. Okay, just finish it and I will wait for the rest of the guys, okay? Okay, thanks, teacher. You're welcome. Thank you. Okay, we have Melia and Fernando. Hi, guys. I'm finished, teacher. Hey, you finished? Sorry. Cool. No, that's okay. No problem. How are you? <laughs> Pretty good? Pretty good. Yeah. yeah, that's amazing. Hey, yeah. Hey, Fernando, where have you been? Hey, we lost you. Aha, uh -huh, Doris. Okay, this beautiful girl. I like it. Fernando, <laughs> now you're in a different position, right? In a different place of your house, I think. Yes, I am in, in my set room. You what? In my oh yes. You can uh, do it. You can do it. You can do it. I don't. I don't remember the. Of course you do. Uh huh. It's, it's a different. Come uh, on, you can do it. Different. I know, sir. It's sir. It's but it didn't come up. <laughs> That's wrong. You mean living room? Living room. Living ah. room. Okay, yeah, because restroom is a, is something else. <laughs> yes, yes, like a bathroom. Exactly, similar, but it's basically um like is in it? British way. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, I can see. I don't. I like the color of your house. It's pretty happy and peaceful, which are good. I'm in a garage right now. <laughs> no, no, it's because you know what? I recently. Uh, by the end of last month, my mother passed away, and uh, I had to come to her house just to like do cleaning and double check if I have any receipts right, pending right, for water, for electricity, for cable, and so on. So basically, right now I'm here with my pets. Yeah, so that's the reason why I changed it right now, and. Uh, I need to find a place where I can like be me because my pets are here with me and they bark like burf, 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 burf. especially when there's a um a little I don't know cat here around yes yeah, so I have to like close all the doors and I'm here but you know what it's really different because where I live I ha it's really cold weather and I love it but here where my mama used to live woof it's really hot, at least for me, right? Because I'm used to cold weather. So right now I'm swearing like a peak that you cannot imagine. Yes. Oof. Yeah, so that's I need to get used to it, basically. You know, I don't know about you guys, but here it looks like it's about to rain. What about where you live? Is, is it cloudy? Or no? Not now, but... Not now, Andres? During the day, it was... It was cloudy. Yeah, yes. I, I think all this day was really, I didn't be cloudy, right? But it was really hot. I don't know why, but today, oof, for me, it's really, really hot. Yeah, I don't know. But I think March and April will be the hottest month of the year, right? Yeah, I, I think my pets need some haircut already, just in case, because they, they are like the ones with, they are hairy herdy uh, dogs so uh, basically they need to to go to the um, saloon right to the grooming zone <laughs> all righty very good okay now we're going to practice you know what this is part of the process we will see this topic later on but um for us to continue practice of speaking right which we're doing right now and it's part of one of our goals right to reach to develop the speaking skills and to improve our uh, basically 
knowledge and languages um we're going to practice every day guys every day i'm not, i'm going to ask one or two or maximum three of you to tell me about your date but uh we're going to practice a simple pass all the time yeah because uh, it is one of the um, birth tenses that you uh, but most of the people intended it to cat confused or to forget, especially with the use of the verbs, right? Regular and irregular verbs. So it's really, really important. You know what, especially because, um, for example, when the English native speakers, if we uh, start talking about a past, we stay in the past, right? It, it doesn't mean that we cannot use past, present and future in the same conversation. Yes, we can. When we know how to do it and the structure and everything, it's, you can capable to do it and you're allowed to do it. However, as Latin American people, I don't know about you guys, but uh, sometimes they start talking about present and they go back to the future and they go back to the to the past. And you're like, I got lost. What they're talking about, no? Yeah, so we need to like, if we are going to talk about past, we need to focus on the past and stay in the past, yeah. That's what we're going to do right now. So every day I'm going to ask you about your daily routine. And I want you guys to start practicing the simple past because it's really, really important. Especially, for example, when you are uh, the ones who would like to go to the managers, for example, to become managers or they are part of your teams, depending on the teams and the section that you work. Sometimes you need to put, fill a report, right? And you need to uh, provide uh, what had happened during the month, what do you do to reach your goals, et cetera. So you always need to use the past tense for that. So it's really, really important that we practice the past tense all the time. So every day, I'm gonna ask uh, a maximum of three of you to tell me about your daily routine. So let me start right now with Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni, lucky you. Tell me, how was your day? Uh, I had a good day today. Okay, why? Tell us, what did you do? The normal duties that I, I have don't to know. Do. You tell me. Uh -huh, but I don't know. I, I don't know. You nothing know. special. Nothing special today. For example, at uh, what time did you get up? I get up at six. You 30. get up or you got up? I got up. Uh huh. At six. At six? 30. Wow. Uh huh. Then mm. did you prepare your breakfast? No. 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 So where do you have your breakfast? Uh, my wife. Oh, your the... wife prepared uh -huh. the breakfast for you. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh -huh. and so then, mm -hmm. continue. Uh, but first I I took a shower today. No. Uh -huh. Then my breakfast, and then I. I go to the to my job. You went. You went to the I job. Went, I went to my job. At what time did you arrive to work? Uh, maybe seven fifty. Around seven fifty. Yes. Okay. Okay. Uh -huh. And what what was the first thing that you do? I had to to check my how to how to say my entry my your login. Uh, login, uh -huh. You're logging in your password. You had you need you you had to log in into the no, system. I I had to check my attendance in my job. Ah, uh -huh. okay. Mm -hmm. oh, and cool. then uh, we start to you to start work. job. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, what time did you have lunch? I had lunch today at twelve forty-five. Twelve forty-five. Okay. Or a uh, what is another way to say 1245 in English? 15 to 1. Uh -huh. uh huh. Better, better. You have another way to say it. In the half. Uh, no. Close, but no. Quarter to. Yeah, quarter that's what I need. A quarter uh -huh. to one. Very good. Uh -huh. All right. Uh, what time did you finish your shift? I finished, uh, I finished uh, 4 p.m. At uh, 4 p.m. And then? Uh -huh. And then I. I I came walking you, to my house. You came? You came back home? I came back home. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. At what time? Uh, for, for today, it was at 4 and 10 minutes. 4.30? 4.10. 
Oh, four ten. Oh my goodness. I think wow. your job is like really like next block, right? Or, or next yes, house. I, I only walk two blocks. Two blocks. So you walk. Mm -hmm. You do not, yeah. you walk to work. Oh, that's yes. amazing. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Interesting. Do you already have your in dinner or no yet? Yes, I I have dinner at 7.30. Oh, 30 minutes before minutes English before class. Eight. <laughs> so you will have energy, right, to be here. Yes. Oh, oh that's, what is your favorite beverage for dinner? Uh, for dinner, oat, oat, or Coke? Oat. Coke. How you, no. How do you say arena? Oat. 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 Uh -huh. Oat. For drinking? For drinking, yes. Ah, with water or with milk? With water. With water, all right. Uh -huh. or, or hot coffee, right? A coffee. Oh, coffee. Yes. Mm, very good. That's it? Okay. No, I'm asking you. That's it? Uh, yes. Okay. Oh, when you finish, guys, and when you, and when you don't have anything to say or any else to say, you said, that's it. And that means that you're already finished. There's nothing more to say. Very okay. good. Very good. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Give me those five. Woohoo. Excellent. <laughs> yeah. What about Toma? Tell me. Toma, tell me. Oh, I, I like it. All right. Uh, uh, good, evening. Good, evening. good evening. Tell us a little bit about today's activity, your uh, daily routine for today. Uh, daily? Yeah, today. What time did you get up, for example? Okay. I I was get, get up. You got up? Uh, I got up. You uh, got up. Got the past. I got, got up mm -hmm. at 5 a.m. 5, 5 a.m. Yes, yes, because I I I take a, a, some minutes for for the mantras. Mantras. A uh, yoga. Okay. Oh, really? Yeah. You do yes. yoga? Okay, okay. Yeah, yes. Yeah. And then and take a bath. Okay. okay. I took I took you took I was you took talking, a bath. I was talking about uh, talking about. Oh, a bath. Okay. You took a bath. Yes. Oh, okay. Oh, you said you can. You took. I took a shower. Now, excuse me. Take a bath. Oh, take a shower. Okay. Yeah, much better. Yeah. I took a shower. Mm -hmm. Next, I I was making my breakfast. You prepared. You prepared. Yes. Your breakfast. I okay. prepared my breakfast. And in my lunch too. And after uh, I was change, I was uh, change my dress. <laughs> what? And, and, well, well, yes. And I I was working to uh, to my work. Okay, so you arrived to work. At what time? Oh, um, I was entering my work at 8.30 a.m. 8.30 a.m.? Okay, so from yeah. 8.30 until what time? Um, until 5 p.m.? I don't know. No, uh, I, I was uh, shaking. Mm-hmm. Um, after to back home okay uh, for the uh, close my 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 desk okay and i i can i can sure that the the manager general manager office is closed okay so my my daily schedule my daily schedule is is a little busy because mm -hmm. I I I work as assistant to general oh. manager oh, okay. sales manager sales general manager so uh, general administrator Oof. Uh, so yes I have some. Uh, many many bosses yes i uh, can imagine so that. 
I assisted to um, uh, optical laboratory. Oh, okay. Uh, the bus. So, um, and I help with uh, with it, it generally. I am um, mainly. Um, I I work as assistant to a general accountant. Oof, my goodness. Yes, you know what? Yes. I got tired. How many buses do you yes, have? Wow. Yes. Uh, so tell me, tell me, uh, tell me, at what time you usually arrive back home? Because all that work is really exhausted. Oof. Actually, actually, I was uh, returning mm -hmm. home at home. Uh, early for oh. the class really oh the my class, god yes but uh, normally i i i back home at 8 8 p.m wow yes and Oof. and during my tired. lunch but during my lunch i i practice other language oh, oh, oh yes cute yes that's yes. good for that's 45 good. minutes yeah. yeah that's good that's really nice congratulations and you know what I, I also want to congratulate because you use uh one of the words that we need that we use in english which is a consecutive adverse of frequency where you use uh, next then first etc so that's really good yeah. And also you use usually, generally. I like that. Very good. Very good. Okay. Thank, thank you so thanks. much. All right. Thank you, guys. Okay. Tomorrow we'll ask somebody else. Okay. So don't worry about it. But I want you guys to be prepared because I don't know who, who will be my victim. Sorry. My participants. I don't know. All right. I, we have Kenya already here. We also have Freddy's. Freddy's. Hi. How are you? Also have Judy, Francisco, Joshi, Jarvin. Alexander, Mr. Irwin. Oh, very good. Hey, I like Mr. Freddy's background. I like the lion. Yeah, it's really nice. Yes, there you go. That is one of my favorite animals. All righty, guys, do you remember that yesterday, um, basically, um, I let you know that I'm a teacher who always does a review, right? Remember that? And Jessica's like, don't tell me, teacher. Don't tell me, please. Yes, yes. So we're going to do a little review about what we saw yesterday. All right. You know what? I'm the only one who's excited. And everybody's like, mm. <laughs> all righty. Yeah, so don't worry about it. Yeah. You know what? But we're going to do it in a fun way. Hey, Alexander, how are you, sir? I'm pretty good. That's nice. I like your background as well. This is like a part of, is, is this a Chinatown? Yeah, mm. I guess. <laughs> yeah, I got it here. You know what? I remember Kung Fu Panda. But Kung Fu Panda too. When they are fighting with the wolves. Yeah, I like yeah. it. Very good. <laughs> okay, guys. So let's practice that. <laughs> I, you know what? I like this one. So bear with me for a moment. This is the spin roulette for me. This is the roulette. That is what we call it in English, roulette. All righty, so we're going to do it here. We're going to do it a little bit bigger. Okay, there you go. Okay, you like it? Ah, you will see it in a couple of minutes, what it is. All right, yay, I got your names here. Let me double check with you. Okay, you will not do it. Really, Francisco? Wow. You know what? Where Francisco lives, he's, he said that it's raining. Okay. It's raining very hard. Really? Wow. Okay, so we'll try to do my best. These guys, we're going to like rolling, rolling, rolling. And let, I don't know who's going to be the big thing. Sorry, the participant for today, but everybody needs to be paying attention, okay? Because I'm going to ask you some information regarding definitions about new words that we saw yesterday. So are you guys ready? Uh, uh, nah, 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 nah. Are you guys ready? Yeah? Yes. So, so. Yes, so, so. <laughs> That's the spirit, come on. All right, do your best, let's spin it. Woo, 
I like this. Tertulia, no, it's nobody, right? Nobody's named Tertulia here. Josue Alberto, Josue Alberto is here? No? I lucky him. All right. Blanky, is Blanky here? No, right? Thelma, yay! <laughs> oh my God. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's okay. my turn. I don't okay. know why. Lucky you, girl. Lucky you. Okay, remember <laughs> that yesterday we saw many new terms, right? That we use in the management, uh, basically, environment. Okay, we saw some of them. But can you tell me, uh, tell me that in your own words, based on your experience, of course, what is um, evaluation? How you would describe evaluation? What is it? Evaluation about uh, this manager. Yeah. It is one of the things that we, it, we implement, right? When we are a manager. So what is an evaluation? How can you define the evaluation part? What uh, is it? Evaluation. In your own words. <laughs> Oof, right? Uh, oh. um, where really I, I don't... I don't make this. No, don't worry. No, that's not. But um, do your best. Well, my in your own words, you don't have to like repeat the definition that we saw yesterday. No, only in your own words. Mm -hmm. Well, is that describe mm -hmm. the activity of the general manager mm -hmm. or about me? No, about uh, no about general managers, but what we saw yesterday. Oh, well, well, really, um, our general manager is a is a person energy with a high behavior. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, it's uh, but I want you to main... tell me to tell me what is evaluation. How can you describe an in evaluation about, part? In about activity. Uh huh. Well. Uh -huh. Do well, your best. Think, Don't worry. Well, I guess I guess our general manager is um, proactive. Uh huh. So uh, is uh, um. Uh, he's resolving the problem our uh -huh. employees. Uh -huh. So uh, uh, expose us what is the next plan uh -huh. for the for the sales, for example. Mm -hmm. So uh, what is the next? Oh, oh, what is the what is the main problem about mm -hmm. administration area? Okay. And 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 show us mm -hmm. what is the result. What is the um what what are uh, what are are doing? Mm -hmm. What what is the the best form? or to resolve the problems. Ah, okay, now you got the idea. Okay, all righty, very good. Okay, who else want to uh, put extra information about what Telma said? What about you, Alexander? What do you think, what is evaluation? Okay, evaluation. Oh, evaluate, if you want to. All right, yeah, for me it's the process to, to mature or quantify some process mm -hmm. um, not only for the company is just because you need to run your employees as well ah that's good okay very good excellent good job all right let's move on right any other victims? <laughs> no, right. Another participants. <laughs> no, teacher like, oh my God. No, don't worry about it. I'm just kidding. All righty. So let's move on. Okay, let's do it one more time. Let's roll this. <gasps> Giovanni. Oh my God. Lucky you, man. 
All right, lucky. So tell me in your own words, uh, how you will describe monitor. What is monitor? Mm -hmm. uh, monitor is uh, a process when the manager supervise mm -hmm. or check the process, the, the employees. Okay. Uh -huh. Very good. That's a good one. Excellent. Let's move on. Next victim. Sorry. Next participant. Was it Judy? Do we have Judy here? Yes, we do. Hey! Hi, Judy. How are you, man? Uh, hi, teacher. How are you? Hi. All right. Now tell me in your own words, what is organized? How will you describe the word organized? Basically, for me, is a, create a step, mm -hmm. uh, like a recipe about a process. Mm -hmm. Okay. So tell me, organize is the same of plan or no? Um, a plan is uh, something that about it that you have, uh -huh. something that is going to occur at the future. Very good. So we can say but, like uh, objectives, right? Goals, maybe. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. But the organize is put all steps in mm -hmm. order that you get a, bet, a best result. A best results. Very good. Thank you so much. All right. Let's move on. There you go. Next victim. Sorry. Katia. Is Katia here? All right. Lucky her. Huh. Madeline, <laughs> Madeline is here. Oh my God, teacher, you have a nyaka nyaka or a witch laugh. Like, <laughs> all right, you know what? That's why my niece always says like, auntie, what? You scares me, right? Because I, what the type of laugh that I do have. All right, and last but not least, uh, what about implement? What's that? Well, for me, is uh, communicate uh -huh. uh, the plans mm -hmm. or the activities that the company will have in the in the work. Okay, and give the instruction maybe uh, mm -hmm. how to do something. Mm, that's good one. Very good. Do you have a, something else to say, Fernando, or Freddy's, or Erwin? Do you have an, that you have experience on that? I know, I know all of you want to participate, but one of the time, please, one of the time. I know that, I know, for sure. Uh-huh. Tell okay. me, Mr. Fernando. Oh, uh, Freddy's, go ahead, Freddy's. Implement, you have to make a decision or to implement a decision or implement a plan or agreement. Excellent job. Very good. Good job. You see, guys, that the teacher always make a recap. Not for everything, but for the main points that I want to emphasize. Very good, very good, excellent job, guys. So we saw yesterday many things, many, for example, on responsibilities, remember, and duties about managers. So we saw about organize, monitor, implement, evaluate and plan. And also we saw some, some of the responsibilities that they have now, guys, we're going to talk about, we will we'll continue with the manager environment. However, may I ask you something? And I want your opinion about something because it really, um, I want to, uh, to know what do you think about that? And what I really want to know guys is that basically, what do you think about managers? Do you think that all managers are the same? They have the same uh, way to be? or the same behavior? What do you think? Only one of the time, please. I know, I know that everybody wants to participate about, about right now. About yes, sir. Leader. About the leader, the, the leader, the manager. Yeah, exactly. Are they all the same or not really? But in the in this moment, uh -huh. uh, all the manager, they have to be the similar because we have a team, team resource in one company, mm -hmm. the, the resource of finance, uh, technology, mm -hmm. and human, mm -hmm. human. 
Okay. Human is like a staff, okay? Of like course. Staff. And the, the, the manager at that moment, he had to be a person, like a leader, that the coach, and no friends, okay? No different, so different mm -hmm. friends. Of course. Had, uh, one manager had to be, had to be a coach and to try to give capacitation for your staff. Exactly, very this good. This is the most important. And all the, yeah. all the company, all the company have goals mm -hmm. in the process into the into the company. That's good. Yes, yeah. and that's true, yeah. Erwin. Yeah. yeah, and so talking about what Erwin said, guys, for you, what is a good management? Is what is a good for, management? Yes, for, go for, ahead, Erwin. For, for me, for me. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, it's a... Uh, it's so it's so easy to say this that, 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 that so you can that, see it. Do it, do it. That is you give the I don't remember how how say the example. 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 Yes. Sorry, teacher. Sorry. That's okay. Example. Don't worry. Sorry. Example. You have to for to be a good leader at the moment. You have to be the example that all the things that you do, all the things that you say. All the things you yeah, how to think for your for your stuff. Very example, good. Uh -huh. yeah, the example for your stuff. Very if you, good. If your stuff see you that you you give the example example, it's so easy word. I don't remember teacher. Sorry, <laughs> don't worry. Sorry, teacher I don't remember that word. Sorry. If you give the example, uh, the your your stuff will work well mm -hmm. in the future, but. If you are a manager with problem in your in your family, drink alcohol, yeah, uh -huh. uh, angry all the time. Mm -hmm. Okay, you can't understand your your stuff. You are a bad a bad manager. Very okay? good. Yes, yes, but, you're right. But but, that. but in that moment, in that moment, in in, in all the company, mm -hmm. if one company have a bad manager, the company will lost in the world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. We lost in the world. Yes, we, we lose, yeah. you know, we lose in, in the world. Yes, be you're right about be, that in this case. Because the competition at the mm -hmm. moment is so difficult. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that you, if you have a company, you have to be with, uh, with the more technology, with the more staff, with the more uh, capacitation, mm -hmm. for to will be competition, competition in, in with your with the other company. Exactly, that's true. That is true. And basically, uh, a company is like a human, uh, like a like a like a human body, right? Yes. Yeah. Yes. Everybody is so important. Doesn't matter if you're the Everybody little finger, so, the yes, head, the brain. Everybody is really important. You cannot say it so in, to the finger, so I don't need you. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's, it's the most, it's, it's in the moment, all the company uh, that can live, that can live in that moment, have to be how I told you in, 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 in a few minutes, in a few, in a few moments. Uh huh. Yes. Yeah. Okay, very good. And anybody else has an opinion about what is a good management? I don't know, Amelia, maybe you, I remember that you said that you would like to become a manager, right? Yes. So great. what do you think? What uh, is a good management? Are you agree with Erwin or you have something else to say? Yeah, I don't agree. I mean, the good manage, manager is like a, someone that always is listening to the, to the team, always is supporting. I mean, if someone gets one problem, I mean, it's like a human, Listen, what happened? I can help you, or what? What is the reason that you you feel bad or something like that? And mm -hmm. also, I mean, when the the goals are higher, mm -hmm. are higher. Sorry, uh, try to help. Say, okay, uh, we can do it like a team or something like that. I would like to get a manager this way because I think they it's really strong for the team. I mean, it's really important to get the all the, the job done. So exactly. Like it. Yeah, you're right about that. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have something else to say, Yoshi? Thank you, Amelia. I don't know, Yoshi. Um, 
Well, I, I, I had the same opinion as my opinion? partner mentioned. Uh, mm -hmm. Manager is someone who is supporting you when, when something is wrong. He can give you some advice, some steps to follow in order to get a better result in the future. Uh -huh. Not just yet. Exactly. And now tell me, guys, how would you define a, ma a managerial styles? How would you define that? Oh, I don't know if you know what is a managerial styles. Sure. Uh, in the administration? No, so, uh, uh, managerial styles is basically uh, the way that the managers act. Because everybody, what you, what you said is like the ideal manager, right? Yeah, ideal manager, yes. Yeah, ideal. however, not all the managers are the same. Yes, but uh, mm -hmm. if you want the more example, mm -hmm. For administration, okay. For administration, yeah, mm -hmm. it's all different. Jesus, yes. Jesus. In the in the in the in Jesus, mm -hmm. he's an example. A good example. Oh yeah. A good manager. Of yes, Jesus. I am Catholic, but if you read the, I don't remember how to say Bible, the teacher. What? How how to say Bible? I don't remember. Bible. Bible. I am confused. That's I am okay, confused. don't worry. I, sorry, I am confused at the moment because I am working with myself. <laughs> yes, sorry, teacher. Bible. Yes. If you read, if you read the Bible, yes, uh -huh. you can you can see how was Jesus. Uh -huh. Jesus had a staff. Twelve. Uh -huh. Yeah. Jesus uh, support your your staff. Yes. Uh -huh. Jesus speak well mm -hmm. with the with the with the man with the with the people. Okay, yes. Yeah. This is a good this is an example for a good manager. That's true. Yes. It's, it's incre incredible because many years ago, mm -hmm. 20 20,000 years ago, uh, uh, it's it's I can't believe it that one person can do it a good manager in that moment. Of course, yeah. So yes, yes, you're really good. Yes, you bring a really good example, the perfect example for excellence. Exactly, very good. But what I'm talking about, uh, gentleman managerial styles, is basically in Spanish, guys. Um, liderazgo, liderazgo is what I'm asking for. Liderazgo, that is uh, management styles. So basically, not all of the managers have the same liderazgo, right? That is what it means. Some of them act like Erwin says, some of them don't. Then we have a different type of a manager's way to be behavior or how they treat their colleagues, how they treat the subordinates, et cetera. So to get a better idea, I will present to you uh, a video. This video is really interesting. And I want you guys to pay attention, but this video, um, what you're going to see, well, you're just going to listen to it, okay? You're not going to watch it, but maybe some of you will be able to watch it, but I'm going to be a really not good teacher today about the video. Why? Because I'm not gonna put any subtitles, any, not even in English. Why? Because you told me, teacher, I want to develop all the skills. You're, I remember that, right? And because you say that, I took it literally. So we're going to develop our listening skill, right? And we're going to listen a variety of people speaking English from different countries related to the topic that we're seeing right now, which in this case is management styles. So please guys pay attention to what we're about to listen. And um, I want you guys to try to understand as much as possible. What you're going to listen basically will be Mr. Lex Sisney, which is a CEO coach of organizational physics. That's who you're going to listen to. So please, pay attention to the management style, and then we can discuss what we understood. Do you like it? Yeah? Okay, so let's go for it. Woohoo! I don't know, I, I, it's only me who's excited. I don't know why, no idea. All righty, there you go. physics. What's your management style and how does it relate to other styles? It's a million dollar question. 
Do you listen, guys? Do you listen? Yeah? Yes. Okay, cool. Yes, yes. That's what I want Because management styles are all around us. Each of us must manage our relationships, our activities, and the world around us. And what you'll notice is that each of us has developed a unique style in how we go about managing things. One way to conceptualize a management style is to understand that each of us must have this balance. Sometimes we've got to drive forward change. And other times we have to respond to change. And sometimes we're focused on the big picture. And other times we're focused on the tasks and the parts that make up the system that we're managing. Each of us has learned to kind of shape and respond to the environment and focus on the big picture and focus on the parts in a unique way. And there's some pattern recognition that we can do. If your style tends to be focused on what's happening right now and getting the task accomplished and driving hard to get things done and you thrive on winning and achieving victory and fighting through obstacles, we call that the producer style. You're really good at focusing on what needs to get done and getting it done. On the other hand, if you are better at responding to change and make things orderly and efficient and controllable and high quality, you're focused on how to do things the right way, we call that the stabilizer style. On the other hand, if you get excited about creating disruptive change and being creative and finding those creative solutions to complicated problems and disrupting the status quo, we call that the innovator style. You're really good at being disruptive and creative and finding those creative solutions. But if you're better at responding to change and keeping everyone Don't working well Don't together, harmony and coalescing the team and working well as a unit, we call that the unifier style. You're really good at helping the team respond to change and work well together. Each of us has some mix of those styles, right? And you can think about your life this past week. Did you spend most of your time producing, trying to accomplish the daily, weekly work? Or did you spend most of your time trying to bring order out of chaos? Or most of your time and energy trying to disrupt the status quo? Or most of your time and energy trying to keep everyone on the same page? I want you to notice that some of those styles come more naturally to you. They're more additive to you. And if you find that you're spending most of your time out of your natural style, it will cost you job happiness, productivity, and satisfaction. So the secret to having more productivity and happiness in yourself and others is to recognize what style comes naturally to you and complement yourself with others who are stronger where you're weak. One thing you can do to help others understand their own style is to give the force what it needs. Here's what I mean by that. Imagine that you're sitting in your office and an employee comes in and this person is moving at a fast pace. They're feeling frustrated because there's obstacles. Well, that's the producing force. Rather than judging the person, judge the force and say, oh, yep, there's a producing force. What does it need? Well, it needs help in removing obstacles. Once those obstacles are removed, it can produce again. I don't need to incentivize this person or ensure that they're working hard enough. By nature, they're gonna go and work hard and accomplish and fight to get it done. All they need to do is help them remove obstacles. But now contrast that with another staff member who comes in your office. And this time, this person's moving more slowly, more methodically. They're struggling to make sense of all the change that's happening in the environment. Don't judge the person. Judge the force. Say, hey, that's the stabilizing force. What do I need to give it? Well, I need to give it data. I need to give it time to analyze that data. Now, once that person with a high stabilizing force gets the data they need and time to process it, they'll come back with a very clear orderly plan to make sense of things and to bring some order out of all the chaos that's happening. Now, let's contrast that with another style that comes into your office. Here comes a big innovator. They're excited. Why are they excited? They have a new idea, right? They want to share that with you and get excited. Now, you might be overwhelmed with all the tasks that you have to do, but don't judge that person. Judge the force. Say, hey, look, here comes the innovating force. I give the force what it needs. So you get excited with that force. You talk about the idea. And what you'll notice is that high innovator style talks through the idea. They'll start to get more accepting of it. They'll start to become aware of all the details and intricacies of it. But if you give the force what it needs, that innovating style has a chance to work its way through and that person can be more grounded and focused once again. Last example, a high unifying style comes into your office. Now guess what? This person's gonna be feeling either up and engage, they want to talk to you. They want to learn about you, what's happening in your life. So you don't judge that person. You give the force what it needs. You spend some time 
connecting with them, talking about their personal life, connecting. Mm -hmm. Now, it could be that they come into your office and they're feeling really uh, disempowered and what they're focused on is how everyone else is feeling and emotional dynamics and problems happening in the team. So you, again, you don't judge the force, you give the force what it needs. They need empathy, they need you to listen and connect. Now, once you give the force what it needs, that force has a chance to move through. That employee, that staff member, now has an opportunity to be more grounded and focused and execute on their daily tasks. None of this is to say that management is easy, it's hard, but if you don't give the force what it needs, there's no breakthrough, the status quo remains. So these are the four styles of management, the producer, the stabilizer, the innovator, and the unifier. Now all of us have some mix of these styles at work within us, but we prefer, we tend to express one or two styles more than the others. There you go. Did you like it? Interesting, right? Yes. I know that uh, that you maybe you did not understand the whole thing, right? Because sometimes they use like two, two technology, um, basically um, uh, words, maybe, right? Or maybe they use it um, like a lot of ideas where they speak a little bit faster. But you got the four style of management, right? But four of them. Yeah, and they, hey guys, maybe we are like um, uh, to attend oh, or yeah. comes naturally one of them, but all of us has the four of them. And oh, yeah. it depends on the situation, you will need to double check which one you would need in a specific situation or with who. You see, that's interesting. Guys, if you have any questions right now related to that, any opinions, no? Did you understand everything? Who can tell me which are the forest management styles? Unifier. Uh -huh. Predu predictor style. Innovator. Uh -huh. Stabilization. Unifier style. Uh -huh. Innovator. 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 And and unifier. Very good. A stabilizer style. A stabilizer style. Very good. Okay, maybe Amelia's a stabilizer. Maybe yeah. Madeline's unifier. I don't know. Yeah? Yeah. Very good, excellent. So we're going to practice guys like a dialogue like yesterday. So I'm going to need another victims or another participants, right? Uh, but this is basically will be what we have seen right now. And this um, um, dialogue will help you a lot to understand much better basically what we are talking about. I want you guys to pay attention on the bold letters because it will give us like an idea and we can determine what kind of management style it is this guy. In this case, I will need a volunteer, but I will need a girl and a boy right now. I know, I know, I know that you want to participate. I know, Kenya. I know, Jesse, for sure. I know, I know, Yoshi, I know, I know. You are so nice, but don't worry, don't worry. I only need one of you. Mm -hmm. Yoshi, you wanna try? Um, yeah. Um, yeah, I want to see your face. <laughs> okay. Come on. Uh, Josh is okay, on a hamaca right now. Ah, uh, all right, very good. And my next big no, team, sorry, I'm not. No, I'm just teasing you. Hey, you know what is teasing? I am teasing you. Have you heard that word? No, never in your yeah. entire life. Yeah, who said yes? Me, Alex. All right, Alex, what is teasing? This is like, uh, like kidding. Uh-huh. But what is the difference? Because there's a difference. I'm not really sure what is the difference, but. <laughs> well, but at least you have heard it. Yes. Which yeah. is good. Which is good. Basic. Okay. When you said I'm joking and I'm kidding, that means that you are making a joke with everybody, right? But if I said I'm teasing you, that means that I'm not joking with everybody. I'm joking with one person in particular, in this case with Joshi. Remember, right? I, I told Yoshi, hey, hey, you were lying on a hamaca. And she said, no, teacher. No, I'm here 100% focused on the class. You see? Uh -huh. So I'm teasing you. I mean, I was making a joke directly with her, with nobody else. That's the difference. You see? You, now you understand? Yeah, teasing? Yeah. Okay, you see? A new word that you learned today, teasing. Alrighty, very good. So I would need Joshi and I would need somebody else. Jury, 
Is you're going to be my big sorry, uh, my, my participant, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay, cool. So let me share right now my screen with you. And um, I don't know, guys, if you have your students' book open. Do you? Yep. Yes. Okay, yes. cool. But even though I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right now so that everybody can see it. Woo. All right, can you see it? Yep. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, yes. Cool. So I want you to okay, Joshi, you're gonna be James. And uh, Yuri, you're going to be team. All right? All okay. right. Uh, do me a favor, Yoshi. Could you please be so kind to read for us instructions, if you don't mind? OK, perfect, teacher. Yeah, in please. a year, our managers at a telecommunication company, mm -hmm. they are discussing man managerial, managerial mm -hmm. teacher? Yes, managerial styles. Mm -hmm. Managerial style. They start practicing the conversations with a partner. With a partner. Very good. Okay, so you start. Go ahead. Hey, perfect. Team, did you hear? No one from France team is getting the bonus this month. Is he the man who will sit next to you for lunch? Uh, uh, again, again. Ask, I, I want you to sound like if you're asking a question. Go ahead, Yuri. One more time. Okay. Is he the man who will sit next to you for lunch? Again, you know why? Is, because you were, I'm missing the, the, the S for sits. Okay. Is, is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Very good. Precisely. 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 Okay. Thank you, teacher. Sorry. Precisely. He's the advocate of the theory X who thinks every single employee is lazy. <laughs> well, like he his team his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best in interest of my team. Very good. Me too. But I hear John Francel is having a lot of success with the latest fur. With a, okay. The, the, uh -huh. the what? <laughs> you know, like John, the layback manager who takes the backstick role. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh, I know. I heard the, he is the manager who left him subordinated to whatever, whatever they want. Yeah. We may want to ask him how he does it. Huh? You're missing. For, for sure. For sure. Okay. Oh my God. Okay. Very good. For the first time, not too bad. Congratulations. Excellent job. I know it was hard, right? Because it's hard to like reading and at the same time try to pretend. But you know what? I don't know about you guys, but I feel that they were like, right? Yes. How do you say yes, that in English? In Spanish, it's chambre, right? But how do you say that in English? Because. Gossip. Gossip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I'm going to write it here. Uh -huh. They were gossip. Gossip. Gossip, right? Gossip. Gossip about, uh, about somebody else's team, right? Yeah, very good. Exactly. And you know what? That happens, right? Because we have a different team, so they compete between each other. All right. Very good. Excellent job. Best. Uh huh. We are the best. All righty. You know what? But I like your attitude, Joshi. I like it. It sounds very natural. Very good. Excellent job. <laughs> Thank you. Ah, Thank you. you. And Jesse, would you like to participate? I know. Yes. Okay. Don't worry. Okay. You will be the next one. <laughs> and uh, who else? Uh, 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 um, Jarvin, would you like to participate as well? Yes, teacher. Okay, cool. So let me share right now my screen one more time. And okay, management style as scenario number two. Action. Go ahead, Jesse. You start, Jesse. Jesse. Jesse, Jesse. Sorry, sorry, teacher. Sorry, sorry. Uh -huh. Go ahead. It. Go ahead. That's okay. <clears throat> Tim, did you hear? No one from from Frank team is getting the bonus this month. Is he is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Personally, he is the uh, the advocate of theory X, 
who thinks every single employee is lazy? Mm -hmm. Well, this thing won't go too far in the light in the thing like that. I personally prefer a more patterning style. I am the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. Me too. But I hear I hear John from sales is having a lot of success with the lately firing. The what? You know, like John. The laid back manager who takes the back seat role. Oh, I know. I heard he is the manager who let his subordinate do whatever they want. Yeah, we wait want to ask him how he do how he does it. For sure. Very good. Congratulations. Excellent job, guys. Very good. Good effort. All right, before we move on, may I ask you, do you have any particular expressions or any vocabulary that you want to know what does it mean? Uh-huh. Lazy is fair. Lazy. Lazy, it means oh. somebody no. who doesn't want to work. Aragan in Spanish. Uh -huh. No, teacher, the, the uh, me too, uh, laissez faire. Oh, laissez faire. Laissez faire, uh, is a, that's a French word. Uh, well, in the management style, it means something else, and we're going to see it in a couple of minutes. Uh, but if you would like to translate it literally, that means let it be or let it do it. But you pronounce laissez faire. Again, lisez, <laughs> lisez faire, lisez faire, lisez faire. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. You're more than welcome. All right, let's pronounce some uh, some words. Okay, repeat after me. Uh, did you hear? Did you hear? Did you hear? No one from Frank's team is getting the bonus this month. Team, no one from no one from Frank's team. Frank's team. No is one getting the bonus this month. Getting the bonus <laughs> this month. Mm -hmm. Look at look at this, guys. Look at this type of uh, question. It start with is right. Mm -hmm. So in English, guys, this type of question. What is what is this verb? Is what it is the verb to be right? Is okay. Yeah. So when a question start with verb to be, we call just yes, no question because. If you answer is a simple yes or is a simple no. So the intonation is going to be up, up. So you said, is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Repeat after me. What? Is he the man who sits next to you for lunch? Is he the man who sits next, next to, to you for lunch? lunch? Very good. Lunch? Precisely. 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 What does he mean? Precisamente. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. He is the advocate of theory X who thinks okay. every single employee is lazy. Is he the is an advocate, advocate of, theory? of theory X who <laughs> thinks every single employee is lazy? Lazy. Who thinks everything? Mm -hmm. Advocate, teacher, me the meaning, please. He is the advocate. That means it's the ones who supports the th that this theory. Is a person who supports. Okay. Okay. Thank mm -hmm. you. You're welcome. Well, his team won't go too far if he thinks like that. Okay, I want to hear you guys. He still won't go too far if he thinks like that. Repeat after me, please. Well, his team won't, his team team won't go, go too far if he thinks, thinks like, like that. that. Very good. I personally prefer a more paternalistic style. I personally, I personally prefer, prefer, prefer a more paternalistic, paternalistic style. style. Very good. I'm the one who makes decisions in the best interest of my team. I'm the one who makes the best interest of my team. 
Very good. Now I want you to, to pronounce this one. Having a lot of. Having a lot of. A lot of no. A lot of. A lot of. Remember that OF is pronounced like of. So it's having a lot of. So this one, guys, we're going to link. We're going to join these three words to pronounce it in one way. Having a lot of. Repeat after me, please. Having a lot of. Having a lot of. Having a lot of. A lot of. Mm -hmm. a lot of. The laid back manager. The laid back manager. 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 Who takes the back seat role. Very good. Okay, cool. I know. I know it's really hard, right? But that's good. Yeah, I congratulations. Very good. Excellent job. Excellent, excellent job. You go, friend, Fernando, what happened? You're like, <gasps> my brain is about to explode. Like, <sighs> how do you feel, guys? Tired? A little bit tired today? Yeah. Yeah. All righty, before we move on, uh, I want you guys just to do it right now, a little bit of thing, one thing right now, before we move on, let's do some uh, stretch exercises, right? Because everybody's like, <sighs> I think Alexander is almost falling asleep. <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, that's okay. All right, let's, let's play some game. Okay. Uh, have you played Scrabble physically? Mm. No. That is one of my favorite uh, games in my whole life because it's about vocabulary. You can like basically uh, put it like a category, animals, vegetables, whatever. But in this case, I'm not going to do it like too complicated. I will do it as fast as we can. So this is what we're going to do. Imagine, I'm going to start saying one word, okay? And the next person is going to say a word. It could be an animal, a cotter, whatever, that starts with the last letter of my word. For example, if I said avocado, what is the last letter? Oh, oh. 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 So Amelia has to start one word with the word O. You can say orange. Oh, and then his, her word ends with E. So Fernando needs to say elephant, something like that, right? But you know what? <clears throat> Who's going to lose? You got to be like this, okay? If you like took forever, you lose, okay? So you got to pay attention uh, for example, and you know what? I can give it to you like, I'm going to be the first, you second, and then no, 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 no. But I'm going to do something. I will start and I will pick any of you who's going to tell me the next word. So you gotta think it fast. And for example, imagine that I pick Alexander and Alexander say the word that ends in E. Then Alexander say, nah, I want Josue Alberto who say the next word. And he needs to remember what was the last letter of Alexander word. If he finished, or if he forgets, kick out of the game. You got it? Yeah. So like a bachelor. <laughs> yeah. So that that guys, you know what we're going to work on this is not we're going to have so much fun. Yes, but at the same time, we're going to develop another listening skill, which is basically will be concentrating and focus on details, information. That is really, really important, not only to develop if you're working in a call center, but it's really not, we need to like, in a call center, you're multitasking, you're typing, you're listening, you're doing this, you're doing that, and you have your coworkers speaking and your other coworkers speaking in front and the back and so on. So it's really important to get concentrated on what you need to know. Got it? Yeah, ready? Ready to rock and roll, guys? Yeah. Ooh, ooh. Okay. <laughs> Let me start with one easy one. Welcome. Okay, Freddy's. It's your turn. You said welcome. Yes, that's what I said. You said it. It ends with E, right? Listen. 
So which what you said? Elephant. Elephant. Oh, I, no, no, no. That that was easy. <laughs> I, I gave that example. Come on, think about another one. That's not fair. Oh no, I have a headache right now. You have a headache? Yeah. Okay, I understand that perfectly. So I'm going to bally that. Okay, that's okay. Freddie, can you pick somebody else? Anybody? You said elephant, right? Ends with a T. Mm -hmm. Alexander. Who? Alexander. Alexander. Okay, Alexander. Mm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Echo. Echo. No, because it ends with T, a tomato. Ah, he said tomato. Ah. I, I, no, I didn't. He said, he said elephant. Uh, okay, so I, you lose. Uh -huh. <laughs> no, because I I thought that he he was trying to support and I'm going to continue with the same word. No. Welcome. Yeah. No, I said welcome. Then Freddie yeah. said elephant so now you gotta say a word that it start with t as in tomato but he said that he had a headache and i said ah okay you I got thought, confused no yeah. way yeah. I'm not. <laughs> uh, excuses excuses and excuses <laughs> okay i will give you a, i will give you a chance go ahead with a letter with t a word with okay. t, t. Mm -hmm. uh, okay taylor okay go ahead who next who's next hurry up doris doris okay doris Taylor with an R. We cannot listen to you. You have your microphone is off. Rose. Rose. Okay, with an E. Next one. Who's going to Who's going to be the next victim? Sorry, the next participant. Uh huh. Pick any of your classmates. Uh, Andres. Andres. Okay, Andres. Trust. What? Trust. You said, you said trust? Trust. Mm -hmm. Okay, with T as in tomato. Who else? Yes. Uh, Yuri. Yuri? Okay, Yuri, your turn. A word with T that starts with T. Tomato. I know. I say it. Come on. Think about another um, one. Copy. Tor <laughs> Toro. What? Toro? Toro. It ends with an E. Okay. Who's the next big team? Pick another one. Pick somebody else. Amelia. Amelia, Amelia. go ahead, Amelia. A lion. What? Lion. Lion. No, he huh? said turtle. Total. Turtle. Like a turtle. Like a ninja turtle. Oh. Ninja turtle. Ninja turtle. Turtle. Tortuga. Ah, turtle. turtle. Uh -huh. Ah, yeah. Okay. Uh, evolution. Evolution. Okay, who's next? Uh huh. Jessica. Jessica. Okay, Jessica. A word that L. starts with N. Nail. Nail. Okay. Yeah. All right. Who's next? Doris. No, Doris already participated. Pick another okay. one. Okay. Uh, the two comadres. Come on. What? Madeline. Madeline. Okay, Madeline. A word that starts with L. I said lion. Lamp. Sorry. Lamp. Lamp with a P. Okay, pick on somebody else. Erwin. Erwin. Okay. A word that starts with P, Erwin. Mm. Mm -hmm. yes, tell yes. Tell us a word that starts with letter P. Your microphone is off. Sorry, teacher. Uh -huh. Sorry, teacher. Can you repeat, please? Yeah. Tell us a word that starts with the letter P. P. P, yes. What name P? Sorry, teacher. Mm -hmm. What name P? You're mean, teacher. Yes, I am. <laughs> Potato. <laughs> Come on, tell me that. I don't know, teacher. Sorry. Yes, you know. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> Uh -huh. What? No, with P. With P as in P. Yeah, with P. Uh-huh. People? 
Uh, very good, people. Very good. Yeah. Okay. And pick Erwin, uh, another classmate. It could be Jocelyn. It could be Alberto. It could be Kenya. It could be Fred. No, Fred is already participating. It could be Fernando. I don't know. Number uh, three. No, no. Pick one a person. Fernando. Oh, person. Okay. I will. Number three. One, two, three. Telma. Telma. No, Telma already participated. Another oh, one. Okay. Okay. So. I will think about other number because I like to, to work with the number. Okay. Number seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Judy. Judy. Oh, he already yeah. participates. Okay. Uh, Josué. Josué. Okay. Josué. With a letter E as an echo. I already okay. gave it to you. Yes, an echo. Extension. Extension. Yeah. Ends in N. Okay, who who is going to be the next one? Pick somebody else. Fernando. Who? Fernando. Fernando. Yep. All righty, okay. Mr. Fernando. Uh, name. Name. Nation. Nation. Okay, it killed me. All right, very good, excellent, good job. Who else? We're missing two people here. Jarvin. Oh no, we're missing three. Jarvin, Joshi, and Kenya. Jarvin. Jarvin, okay, Jarvin, it's your turn. What what is the word? What is the word? Nation. Nation. With N. Mm-hmm. Num. What? None? No one. Oh, no one. <laughs> okay, yeah. so it ends with E. So Joshi and Kenya. Who? Who you want to? Kenya. Kenya? Okay, Kenya, Kenya. go ahead. We cannot listen to you. So you can write it. You can write it. You can write it in the chat. She's writing it right now. Take this. Let's double check what she got. Early. Okay, very good. So with Y. Okay, Georgie, with Y. Yellow. Yellow. Ah, that's easy. Okay, very good. Excellent. Do you like it? It's hard, right? It's a little bit easy because we don't have a category. But when we have a category, that is what comes like a hardest part. Okay. Do you like it? Yeah? Do you feel a little bit more awake? Mas despiertos? More awake? Yeah? Okay, cool. So let's move on. Let's continue. Okay, guys. So we have seen some, uh, basically what we can say, management and styles. Let me present to you another one. And I want you guys to take a look at the definition about it. There you go. Let me double check right now what we have. Okay. And let me share right now my screen with that really quickly. There you go. There you go. Okay. We have here some managerial styles. We have democratic, paternalistic. Remember that we saw that in the in the in the currently um, dialogue that we have just practiced before. Theory Y, theory X laissez-faire, right, and autocratic. So this is what I want you to do. I want you to work in pairs right now. And basically, I will send it to you right now through the WhatsApp, okay? And I want you guys to work in pairs and select which description belongs to which management and style. I'm going to send it right now. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. And let me know, guys, once you receive it, okay? Because I want to know if everybody has that information. But as I'm about to send it to you. Just bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Oh, it's taking forever, so I apologize for that. Okay, there you go. Okay. Do you have a guy already with you? Yeah, you did? Do you look at the WhatsApp group? Yeah, cool. All right, so let's work in pairs right now. And I will give you just five minutes, no more than that. So we can like discuss which uh, definition goes to which um, word and then we'll come back together. All right, we are 15. How many groups do I have to do? Eight, right? All the time. All righty. Okay, guys, accept the invitation, please. And let's work together.
okay, accept invitation, please. I'm missing Amelia and Jessica. They are still missing to accept the invitation. There you go. Yes, she, there you go, Erwin. Alrighty. Okay, Madeline is alone also now. Sorry, right. teacher, I was busy. <laughs> Don't worry, that's okay. Hi, do you understand what you're going to do, Freddy's and Doris? Yes, but... Yes. Uh, Dime. I, I don't know what's in the theory J and theory X. Mm, don't worry, just try to do your best. Ah, okay. Yes, because this is about guessing, okay? Don't worry. Just work together and try to find out which one is the definition of which one. And then where we come back together, everybody, we're going to discuss, okay? So don't worry about that. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Let's continue. Let me double check the other guys. Okay. Okay. How is everything going, Jarvin and Jesse? Any questions? How you doing? Uh, not yet. Okay, good. Okay, let's Thanks. continue working together. Okay. All righty. Let me double check the other guys. Okay. Yeah. All right, is everything okay? Huh? What is the like to work? Ah, do your best. <laughs> Don't worry, take your time. Mm -hmm. I'm just here. Hi. Joshi, Josue, is everything okay? Any doubts, any questions? Miss. Yes? Mm, we can do... Uh, mm -hmm. Share the screen. I know. You know? Do yes, you, you can't. Really? Yes, you can't. No. The, it's not that I don't want to. It's, it's not that I don't want to. It's because I'm not allowed to. That is one of the insufferable for instructions. Yeah, um, it's, it's easy when we... Yes, it is. Yes, of course. It is the same. Yeah, I understand. Do you have your uh, your workbook with you? Yeah, but yeah. In, in, it's not the same. Uh -huh. And I, I already sent it to the WhatsApp as well. Yeah, yeah. 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 But and it will be easy if you will be able to or capable to share, to the, share screen. the screen. Uh -huh. and, uh, Don't worry, I will double check if I can comment that. And maybe we have a surprise. In the please, because on last uh, model, we can do we that. We could do it. Okay. Okay, yeah. no problem. I can request that. Don't worry. But right now, Let's do your yeah, best. Yeah, we are, we are working. Okay, that's nice. There you go. Let me double check somebody else. Okay, bear with me. Okay, take okay. care, guys. See you later. Okay, how's everything going? Pretty good? Awesome. Okay. Okay, one more minute and then we come back together, okay? Okay. Okay, cool.
All right, Fernando, we're just doing me, you, me and you. Oh no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we got Andres here. There you go. Okay, how was the experience? Was it good? Was easy? Yeah. yeah. Easy peasy queasy, right? Yeah. Nobody says anything. Come on. All right, we have Fernando. We have Andres, Kenya, Doris, Freddy's. Woohoo! They're back together. There you go. Who's missing? All right, it's still missing somebody else, right? The rest of the team. We got Telma, Amelia here. Very good. Okay. Yes, peace and love, she said. All righty, there you go. We got Madeline. All righty. Mm -hmm. Who else? I'm missing four people here. All righty, there you go. I'm missing two more. Yeah, I think so. Ah, Josue is having a Shot conversation, a private conversation. Ah, we gotcha. <laughs> oh my God, he's getting rouge. Oh. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. All righty, there you go. Okay, guys, so let's work together and let's double check what you find out. Okay, very good. Let's go back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, that is not the one that I want to share with them. Let me check this out. There you go. Yeah, that's the one that I need. There you go. Okay. Now, yes, let me share right now the screen with them. Okay, let me put it a little bit bigger. This, this was the exercise, right, guys? All right. So tell me, what is a democratic? What is the definition of democratic? Which of them? Uh huh, Fernando. Okay. Uh -uh. Okay. Very good. Now yes. Uh, democratic. Democratic is uh, employees are encouraged to participate and influence decision making. Mm -hmm. That is, okay. Is everybody agree with Fernando? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. Cool. Very good. What? What about? Very good job, Fernando. Good job. Paternalistic? Managers make decisions in the best interest of the workers. Oh, very good. Is everybody agree with Andres? Yeah? Yes. Cool, excellent. Good job, sir. Very good. What about theory Y as in Jojo? What's that? That was one of the tough ones, right? Uh-huh. The uh -huh. managers are uh, where the manager retain, retains full control. Uh-huh. Very good. What about theory X for X-ray? Managers didn't work are lazy and don't <laughs> like to work. Yeah, very good. Based on the dialogue, right? Do you remember that we saw that expression? Very good. What about laissez faire? Laissez faire. Little or no direction is provided by the manager. Very good. And autom autocratic. The manage management style where the manager retains full control. Aha. Uh -huh. uh, do you agree with her, uh, Jessica? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Do you agree with her, guys? Yes. Yeah? So you see, guys, we're learning something new. Yesterday, we learned about uh, the way that they implement things and activities at the, at the employees or enterprises. But now we're basically learning the way the managers handles or acts or behaves with their team or with the subordinated. That's it. really interesting, right? Yeah, because those words that we're learning are so unique. And it is a vocabulary that uses in the specific environment. All right, that is what it is. All right, guys. So, but did you notice something interesting on the dialogue? Maybe you noticed, but you didn't quite sure about what it is. Oh my God, we have a new student there. His name is mm -hmm. Kitty Cat. Hello, boy. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I, lo I love to have new students. Dogs, parents, turtles, cats. That's okay for me. 
a boy. It's a girl with a boy. It's my cat. I, it's oh. my cat. Jack. Jack? Yeah. Mr. Jack Sparrow? Like Jack Sparrow. Or, yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. I have a cat. Her name is Sassy because she's a sassy girl. <laughs> Alrighty. Very good. But now oh, Sassy is not here with me. Only whiskey. But it's not a beverage, right? It's a dog. Only whiskey. Hey, he's here by, right now. And Mr. Chestnut. Hi, whiskey. You're going to say bye to the class, right? Okay. All right. Okay. He's standing next to me right now. All right, guys. <laughs> So I want you to pay attention on one of the things that I want to consider with you right now related to what we have seen so far. There you go. Let me go back to the previously. Okay, I want you guys to take a look at this particular section really quickly, but let me choose another, another color. This one. Ooh. Ooh. You see that we have used it a lot? Mm -hmm. Do you know what is this? He said, he is the advocate of 30X who thinks every single employee is lazy, is lazy sorry. Who is the person? Aha, uh -huh. who, but what is it? He's asking who the person. Aha, uh -huh. yes, I know. But what is who in, in English, grammarly speaking? What is it? In the part of the speech or something like that? Uh, kind of. Kind of. Mm -hmm. But Can you're close, you're close. Uh-huh. What it is? How do we call who in English? What is, what is it? It's a, it's a grammar part. Yes, it is. But what kind of grammar part it is? Do you remember? Clauses? No. Uh-huh. Kind of. It, it calls relative pronouns. Relative pronouns. In English, you, you see it, you see that even though they say, ah, oh, grammar is bored. No, it's really important to know grammar because he, here you will, you will see how grammar is useful in our daily basis. You, you see, we use who? Of course, now if we, think, if we think precisely or think about it quietly, we say, ah, oh, yes, who is a relative clause? But, but when we use it, we did. We, we we were not thinking. Oh, I'm going to use the relative clause who today. No, right? Because you use it automatically. But who is a relative clause? And is a relative clause, guys, related to persons, to things, to animals? You can use it. Another relative clause is which, what, whom, to whom, etc. Do you remember that? Kind of. Yeah. Let's do some, Enough. some uh, quickly refresh, okay? Don't w worry. WH question. Uh, excuse me? WH question. Ah, uh, in this case, yes, Jesse, we use it as a WH question, but in this case, no, Jesse. In this okay. case, it, it, it works as a relative uh, pronoun. For example, oh, okay. let me give you an example. Um, Sylvia is my English teacher. Sylvia, my teacher called me yesterday. Who? Uh, so if you, if you see that, we have two sentences, right? Mm -hmm. Sylvia is my English teacher, period. Sylvia, my English teacher, called me yesterday. Second mm -hmm. idea. So I think it's a little bit redundant, right? Because I put it, I, I use Sylvia more than once. So how can I use the relative pronoun who enjoying these two ideas and to put it into one sentence. That is why we use relative clauses. Mm -hmm. In this case, I'm not going to use which because mm -hmm. I'm talking about Sylvia, which is a person, who is a she, right? So which relative clause should I use? Who? Who, exactly. So I can say, how can I use the relative clause who enjoying these two ideas and put it into one sentence. Sylvia is my English teacher who called me yesterday. Mm. You see? Yeah. Two ideas that who in is helping sentence. me to join the sentence to erase the redundant or the repeated words that I don't need to use and to make it in one sense, in common sense, right? And logic. And as well, if you see who, 
substitutes Sylvia, right? Or substitutes she. You got it? Yeah? Can I have one sentence, yeah. please, Amelia? Okay, give me a sentence. Now, let's do something. Give me two sentences separately and then use the information of both sentences and put it into one. Okay. Um, my co-workers, uh, my co-workers are good. They are, um, I don't know. <laughs> yes, I'm you sorry. can do it. No, of course, okay. you can do it. You can use Jack. Jack. Yes, yeah. of course, you can use Jack. Don't worry. Remember <laughs> that who also you can use it for animals. Yeah, French. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. Um, let me I, see. Jack, please let her concentrate. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, Jack, <laughs> it's around me who love me a lot. I mean, no, but let me see. Uh, yeah, Jackie, that was good. But I want you uh, to, to do it separate sentences and then with the information of both sentences, put it into one. Okay. Uh, Jack is my pet. Uh, period. And... Okay, period. Mm -hmm. Then another sentence. Uh, Jack eats a lot of food. I mean, okay, okay. Big. Jack is my Good. pet, period. Jack eats a lot. Okay, so how can you use the same, the two sentences into one using who? Um, Jack is my pet who eats a lot. Exactly, a lot you food. see? Very yeah. good. And who what is substituting? Mr. Jack, right? Yeah. Exactly. Very good. Excellent job. Good job, girl. Very Thank good. You. Good job, fine. There you go. <laughs> what about Jessica? Can I have a, a, an example, please? She was like, I'm thinking. <laughs> You're thinking, yes. So right now we smell that something's burning here. Sorry? I smell like something is burning. No. Oh, you got it? No? No, no, no. Como que algo se está quemando, right? <laughs> cuando, cuando tú piensas mucho, dices, se le está quemando el, 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 el brain, right? The brain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm going to give you time. And hey, what about you, Joshi? Can I have an example? Uh, tell me, teacher, just explain me. I'm sorry, what kind of example do you want? Ah, we were, we were talking about the use of relative clause who. That means okay. we use it for persons, for places, no, for places, no, for persons and for things and for objects. For example, Amelia said, okay. Jack is my pet who eats a lot. Can you give me an example? Yes, okay, perfect, <laughs> okay. The guy who won the lottery is my brother. Wow, very good, excellent. She doesn't want to say that he won the lottery, right? I'm just kidding, very good. Good job, girl, excellent, good job. That's just an example. <laughs> no, I know, I know, I'm teasing you. I know, very oh, good, yeah. excellent. And uh, what about you, Madeline? Give me an example. Ah, well, mm, only one. Uh, only my one. mom is beautiful. Who cooks delicious? Maybe. Oh, mm, yeah, I got the idea, but you need to like <laughs> put, uh, the, rewrite the sentence in a different order. It's a at the uh -huh. beginning, the last. Uh, uh, uh. My mother, who cooks the dinner, is beautiful. Okay. You see? Uh -huh. <laughs> very, very good, excellent. Because <laughs> even though that has a, an order, well, if you okay. need to put an adjective first and then so on. All right, Fernando, what about you? Thank you. Any idea? Any, any example? Uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe yes, I, know. I, I, I hear a, a noise in, in front of my house. Uh, maybe is who is stealing my, 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 how do you say, plantas? I don't know. I don't, I don't remember. My plants. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> what examples, man? What examples? All right, but that's good. That's good. That's a good one. Yes, excellent. Okay. Why we did that review, guys? Porque si ustedes se fijan, when we're talking about um, how we describe a manager styles or behavior, we're going to use a relative clause who all the time. 
For example, you can say, uh, Mr. Moreno is the sales manager who gives me directions on how to do this or that, for example. It's really, really important. I'm gonna show you right now an example here. So bear with me for a couple of minutes. How we can use this? Let's move on. Woo! There you go. You see, I have an example here. Easy peasy queasy. These guys are all the relative pronouns, who, whose, whom, which, and that. But what we are going to do, we're not going to see all of them. If you want to, guys, I can share this information with you. I will give it to you. So you can keep it for future references. We can do that. But the one that we're going to use right now, and the one that we're focusing is in who. We use it to replace I, he, she, oi, or he, we, and they. For example, you see, this is the man who broke the window. Or for, as Fernando says, this is a man who stolen my plants, right? Uh -huh. Yeah, you see, so this is this is really easy. You see the relative pronoun take the place, you see, of a noun or pronouns. Okay, you see that? It's really easy, peasy, queasy. I'm going to share this information with you later on. So you will have it for your records. Would you like me to do that? Yeah, yes. can I que yes. compartir this information? Yeah? Yes. Yes, please. Okay. Yes. Of course. of course, I will. Okay, do, let's. I'm gonna do it right now because the teacher he doesn't have an elephant in mind. With the age, I'm ending up to like forget about it. So I'm going to do it right now. So just allow me a couple of minutes more. There you go. Let me stop uh, sharing that right now the screen, and I'm gonna share it with you. So just bear with me for a couple of minutes. There you go. Do you have it already, guys? With you. Yep, yeah, you did? What's up? Okay, cool. cool. That is for you for a future reference. If you would like to study or if you would like to understand more about relative classes, we're not going to get into deep on that because we're going to focus only on one of them, which is who. Okay, that's what we're going to do right now. Okay, so let me go back to business. Ooh, ooh, no, this is not the one that I want. There you go. Teacher, you're crazy. Yes, I know. All right. There you go. Okay. That's what I want to know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're almost finished, guys. Half an hour and then we're rock and roll. There you go. Okay, cool. Okay, now is everybody can see it? Yeah. Okay, cool. So, guys, this is what I wanted to share with you. How we can use the relative plus who when we're talking about a environment or management environment. Here's what we have. We have the subject. Then we have the relative pronoun, and we do have the verb and the complement. These guys are what we call the formula. The formula to write sentences using the relative clause. What is the subject? He is the manager, the businessman, the employee. Okay, we use who? Who? In this case, he is the manager who thinks all employees are lazy. The businessman who made decision unilaterally. The employee who is organizing a training. Got it? Yes? Got it. Yes. Easy, easy peasy queasy? Yes. Everybody's like, mm, no. Is everybody understand? Todo mundo entiende? Do you have any doubts? And I'm going to do that so we can move on. If not, I'm going to move on. Uh huh. Who? Jesse, right? Yeah. Uh huh, Jesse, go ahead. May I to do some example? See, si, of course, go ahead. Uh, he's my son who changed my life. Very good. Excellent. Excellent job. If you can see, guys, very good. Very good, Jesse. If you can see, I'm not going to read this because this, this is what I already explained to you, okay? When do we use a relative? To people, you see, animals like Mr. Jack and things, right? And then we have an example here, okay? There you go. Who can read me that example? Doris, do me a favor. Can you read this sentence for me? Uh, Mr. Jenkins. Mrs. Mrs. Jenkins. 
Mr. Jenkins is the job applicant who submitted a very interesting cover letter. Very good. Okay. What does it mean in Spanish? ¿Qué me dice, ¿Cómo se dice eso en español? ¿Qué quiere decir? It's a sentence. Who can translate it to me? ¿Quién me la traduce? El señor Jenkins. Eh, no, señor o señora. Señora. Um, señora. Ah, ya ese yo. Señora Jenkins. <laughs> el, no, no, I'm sorry. Es de trabajo. Está aplicando. No. Es de job aplicante. Es de job aplicante. Yo... Ajá. Ajá. Es de job aplicante quien envió una muy interesante uh, carta. No, cover letter es otra forma de decir resume o, o, o tu currículum. Ah, ok. Mm -hmm. Very good, very good. Good try, excellent. Very good job. Mm -hmm. Ok, guys, let's do some writing practice. ¿Ya? Yeah? Pero fíjense que este writing practice yo soy bien mala también. ¿Saben por qué? Por, ya han jugado algo que se llama un scramble. No Scrabble. No. And Scrabble. Fíjense que estas que les voy a dar, eh, lo voy a hacer en, en pareja, fíjense, para que vean que soy buena onda. Sí, esto que les voy a dar, eh, fíjense que son sentences que vamos a poner en práctica para ver si pueden ponerme eh, en orden las palabras que aquí están. Prácticamente están en desorden. Y yo quiero que ustedes me lo ordenen de manera lógica, pero utilizando the relative pronoun who. And there we have an example there. Uh -huh. Entonces, ahorita lo que voy a hacer, what I'm going to do is to send you right now the exercise through the WhatsApp. Do you have it, guys, already? Did you receive it? ¿La recibieron? Yeah? Mm -hmm. Okay. And I will give you five minutes. Only five minutes to work in groups. Right now we are 13. Okay, that means there will be six group of six, right? Okay, very good. Oh, I'm good in math. I'm improving. All righty. So let's double check right now. Okay, there you go. So we'll be six. All righty, there you go. We have six. Okay, guys, so let's please accept the invitation and work in pairs. I will give you five minutes. When we finish, I will return. We're going to return back. Got it? Yeah? Okay, cool, guys. Accept the invitation, please. Josue, what happened? You need to join the class. Hi, Josue. Alrighty, let's double check. Hey, is everybody almost bien? Yeah? Any doubts? Any questions? No? Okay, cool. Let's move on. Estamos bien? Are we okay? Yes. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That means give uh, teacher. May, may, you, get out. may you let us uh, to share the screen? Ah, uh, not right now. Okay. But maybe, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Yes. No problem. Okay. So let's work together. Okay. Very good. Let me double check somebody else here. All righty. There you go. Mm hmm. Hi. What and the who is the the subject? Uh, premium users are people. Mm, but I are, think. are are no. Is is because I only use a who? No, uh, we need to to. Ah, connect the, the 
Uh -huh. People. Are you able who? now to, to share your screen, guys? Mm. We, I, I, I didn't. Yes, think. yes, I can. Right. Yes, you can. Okay, now I gave you permission already. Thanks. You're welcome. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. Let me just search. Uh, people. How's everything going, Kenya and Yoshi? Uh, we already finished. You're finished? Oh, that's good. Okay, so let's go back to business. Okay, go ahead. Teacher, you are so mean, right? I didn't give you time, right? Delma, don't look at me like that. Like, eh. Look, you see, look at Telma's face. Like, no, teacher, I hate you. <laughs> don't worry, tell me that if you finish, that's okay. If you don't, no, that's no, okay no. as well. All righty, very good. Okay, guys, so can we do it together? Yes? Okay, let's do it. Let's share right now. There you go. Oh my God, no, this is not what I want to share with you. There you go. Okay, that's good. This is the one that I need. Let's share and let's do it together, okay, as a team. Then let me share right now with you. Okay, we already have the first one there, right? Very good. Okay, what about the second one? It says premium users, people, upgraded to platinum services. Who can give it to me that answer? Which is the correct way to write that? Any volunteers? Algun voluntario? Maybe yeah. premium users. Mm -hmm. Or is the subject. Uh-huh. Are people who great Upgraded the platinum services. Very good. Upgraded to platinum services. Excellent job, Fernando. Very good job. Do you have it like that way, guys? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Good job. Give me the Pfizer. Excellent. Very good. Hey, what about number three? Judy, what do you have for number three? How autocratic manager, someone makes decisions alone Auto, autocratic let me see if i can see it. an autocratic manager is someone who makes decision alone very good do you have it like that way guys yes mm -hmm. excellent good job erwin what about number four chaotic managers people give total control to their subordinates I cannot listen to you, Erwin. I think you have your microphone off. Very good. Mm -hmm, that's okay. Okay, number? Number four. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes. Catholic manag mm -hmm. Chaotic managers mm -hmm. are people mm -hmm. that keep total control to their subordinates. Subordinates. No. Subordinates. Mm -hmm. Yes, you can use that, yes. But in this case, is instead of that, we're going to use who. Okay, who. Cool. Okay. Okay. Cool. okay. Very good. Excellent. Good job. Thank Guys, do you have it the same as Mr. Teacher, Irwin? Teacher, see, yes, teacher, sir. Sorry. But you, in, in that moment, we can use who, but yes. you can use that. Yes, both of it. Yes. You see, the both you can use, okay? Yes, both are correct. Okay, okay. okay. Mm -hmm. But only one, one something. Okay, that's okay, so, not a problem. So, so the how pronounce so the night. Excellent. Good job. Okay. What you, about teacher. my pleasure? What about number five? Oh. And let me double check. Uh, uh, Freddie, so what about number five? Mm -hmm. A CEO. Is an important person who makes mayor created decision. Very good, excellent. All right, very good. And last but not least, number six. And Jose Alberto, what about number six? Oh, 
Oh, swell Alberto, oh, swell Alberto. I think Jose Alberto stood up and went to take a cup of coffee. That could be. What about who has number six? Delma, do you have a number six? Okay. Yes. Go ahead, girl. Yes. You can do it. A general contractor is an is an employee who's provide materials for labor. Excellent, Joe, that's my girl. Very good, Telma, very good, excellent. Guys, do you like this exercise? Is it easy? Was it helpful? Yeah. I will give you, guys, I will send you a links of different pages where you can practice your skills in a fun way, okay? In like, playing a games listening scrabble very good good job guys do you have any doubts or any questions of what we have seen so far tienen dudas o algunas preguntas de lo que hemos visto hasta ahorita ah voy ahora o calle para siempre no i get one dígame amelia go ahead okay it, the difference between when we can use who or which, because I guess it's the same, it's almost. And depends. No. no. Depends. Ah, okay. <laughs> uh -huh. That's why I sent it to you, that information. But don't worry, I will send you extra information to all of okay. you. You can help. Thank me. you. No, no, thank Please, you. That's teacher. good. Guys, tell me something. How how you are doing with the homework number one in the platform? ¿Cómo van con el homework number one in the platform? Algunos he visto que ya lo han hecho. Congratulations for some of you. Very good. Y han pasado con muy buena nota. But what happened with the rest? Uh -huh. I have a doubt. Yes. With the homework two. Aha. Uh -huh. Ah, with the homework two. Which one? Which one, Telmita? Um, well, uh, my, my answer is with... Uh, First letter with a capital. Aha. Uh -huh. Another answer, not. Oh, so you're trying to put in capital, but they uh, took it as a wrong answer. Is that what yes, you're saying? Yes, it's wrong answer. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the problem? Is about, uh, is uh -huh. necessary use capital letter or not? If you are using at the beginning of a sentence, yes. Or after a period, yes. But if it's in the middle of the sentence, it's not necessary. Only at the beginning of the sentence. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm gonna try. Yeah, you can try. And if it's still giving you the error message, send me a screenshot. So I okay. can double check what's the error and I can help you, okay? That's what I'm here okay. for, to help okay, you. Okay, thanks. Yo, no, thank you. Anybody else, guys? Who has a problem with that? Or did you finish? No? Ah, you know what? I have to congratulate to the guys who sent me the record message. But what happened with the rest? I was waiting for your records. What happened? Well, I, I, I have my record, but I, I forget. You forgot. Thank you. Excuse me, Maria. <laughs> I know. I no, that's okay. No problem. You can still continue sending me, okay? That information. That's no problem. But in this case, I'm I'm waiting right now. And I have to let you know, guys, congratulations for the one who sent it to me already. And I'm so proud of you because you have made an excellent effort. I'm so happy. Very good job. I like to listen to you. Yeah. So please send it to me um, at the record if you have not sent it to me before, because I want to see it. Okay. And I want to listen to you as well, because it's really interesting. I like it. I like it a lot. All righty, guys. So we're almost finished. Hey, how about playing a game? Yeah. Uh, no, 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 no. With, yes, with, with that low battery energy, guys, no way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, what about a plan again? Like, uh -huh. 
Yes, teacher. Mm -hmm. Like, oh my goodness. All right. I know it's two hours. I know it's two hours, but yeah, we can do our best. All right. There you go. Would you like to play Simon Says once again? Yeah. Okay, More. cool. All right. Which are the rules? Who, who remember them? Only one of the time. I know everybody wants to participate, but yes, I know. Which is one of the first rules? Remember. remember. Uh huh. Remember the word that my partner or my classmate said? Oh, no, that is a scrubble. <laughs> that oh, is a scrubble. <laughs> yes, but Simon says, remember, uh, you got to do it fast. You have to touch a part of your body that you listen to me saying, not that you watch me. All right. And you got to do it, touch your part when you listen, Simon says. Because if I said another part of your body without the word Simon says, and you touch it, you lose. Remember that? Okay, cool. Are you guys ready? Mm. <laughs> Are you guys ready? Yeah? Yes. Ready I'm to ready. rock and roll and move on. Yeah. 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 That's the spirit. Come on. Energy. All right. All right, Mr. Irwin. All right, Fridays. You see? Look, look at Erwin. It's Erwin's like, yeah. Yeah, teacher. I'm ready, bring it on, right? Okay, cool, okay. Okay, guys, so Simon says, touch your neck. Simon says, touch your shoulders. Simon says, touch your elbow. Simon says, touch your fingers. Simon says, touch your chest. Ha, you lose. I said, Simon says, touch your chest, chest, chin, <clears throat> chest, remember? Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's do it one more time. Okay, Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your forehead. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your back. Touch your elbow. Hey, bye, Madeline. <laughs> Because I didn't say Simon says. Woo! All right, like, psh. okay, continue. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your lips. Simon says, touch your chin. Simon says, touch your forehead. Simon says, touch your legs. <laughs> so, yes, Fernando, you gotta do exercises, right? Add exercises, like, psh. all right. Simon says, touch your hands. So, touch your back. Oh, Ooh. bye, bye, bye. <laughs> bye, Madeline. Bye, Amelia. Don't tell me that. Bye, Doris. <laughs> bye, Jesse. Okay, only Kenya, Fernando, Joshi, Erwin. And okay, I'm going to use my imagination with Freddy's because I cannot see his face physically, but hopefully he's there as well as Jose Alberto. All right. Jose, can you turn it off your camera as well, Freddy's, if it's possible? If it's possible, if not, that's okay. All right, oh, and Judy, Judy, okay, with Judy, okay. Simon says, touch your jean. Simon says, touch your ears. Simon says, touch your back. Simon says, touch your chest. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your ears. Touch your neck. Hi, bye, Kenny. <laughs> Ah, he's dizzying you. All right. You know what? Teacher, only the teacher says Simon says. I will delegate the game to somebody else. Okay, Amelia. Now it's going to be you. You're going to be my right hand today. Okay? So you're going to be the one that says Simon says. Okay? Everybody pays attention to her. Okay? Okay. So follow Amelia, but listen to what she's going to say. Go ahead, Amelia. The microphone is all yours. Okay, okay. Um, Simon says, touch your nose. Uh, Simon says, touch your hair. Uh, Simon says, touch your, touch your eyebrow. <laughs> um, one more, one more. Uh, Simon says, touch your lips. <laughs> second teacher second teacher all right who's who else judy it's your turn go ahead judy 
Now is your turn. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon says, touch your shim. Simon says, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon says, touch your, touch your hair. Touch your elbow. <laughs> you lose. <laughs> oh, you are so mean, Yuri. You're so mean. <laughs> <That is quitando. laughs> very good. The teacher lost. <laughs> All righty. Very good. Okay. So, ah, uh, mm -hmm. what about Fernando? Fernando is the last teacher. Go ahead, Fernando. Okay. Uh, Simon says, uh, touch your nose. Simon says, touch your hair. Simon said, touch your back. Touch your neck. Simon says, touch your eyes. Simon said, touch your forehead. Simon said, touch your chest. Touch your hair. That's it. <laughs> Good job. Today I had three backup uh, teachers. Mr. Fernando, Amelia, and Yuri, thank you so much. You did an amazing, amazing job today, guys. Woohoo! Very good. I know that is everybody's like some some of you are starving, some of you are sleeping, and some of you have a headache like Mr. Freddy's, but I'm really happy to see you one more time in the second class of this week. Thank you so much for joining today's class, guys. Hopefully, please continue working on the platform. And if you have any doubts or problems, like tell me that. Please feel free to ask me, send me a message or a screenshot, and we're going to help you, okay? Okay, guys, it's time to say goodbye. All right, hugs and kisses. Um, Bye. Take care, guys. Bye. 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 B